Hello. I could eat about a million and a half of these. Well, nobody's perfect. Welcome to the It's a Drama podcast. Daddy, I love you. My mother thanks you. If you can't say something nice. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Welcome to It's a Drama Podcast. I am Liz. And I am Sunny. And we are back this week, to, as we promised, to talk about um, the experience of the Indian sleeper bus. Sleeper buses. Buses. Went on two trips. Actually, yes, because we went on more than one, so plural. Mm. Sleeper buses. We're, 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 two trips too many. We're experienced. Well, in your opinion, but I'm here to give... Um, an honest opinion on that, because mm. I'm not a little silly boy who... <laughs> so, so what is your opinion then? Gets, gets put off by buses. Anyway, so yes, the reason we are talking about this mm. is because I truly believe, Sunny, yep. I've kept this quiet to you now, but I truly believe that taking an overnight sleeper bus in India... Is the worst. ...should be on anyone's not top to do list, list things to do in their life. You know, like you always have a list of like... Things not to do. No, but before you die, you've got a list of things. A bucket list. Yeah, yeah like a bucket list. Mm. So it's on your Indian bucket list then? No, but no, let me finish. Before you have a... You, you sort of have a list, don't you? And you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to swim with whales or I'm going to do a bungee jump. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm going to swim naked in the sea or whatever. Which obviously I have already done that. <laughs> Yes, but the difference with us is me and I've done that as well. But you filmed it and put it on Facebook. <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, we were about ten, so it was fine. I didn't do. It. You were about what? Well, no, I Facebook wasn't even about when you were a baby. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think everyone should go to India and take an overnight sleeper bus just so you can say that you've done it. You're cool, you know. <laughs> Part of the hippie yeah, travel got, club now. Yeah, that's it. Slept on a bus. Yeah, once you can say you've been on an overnight sleeper bus in India, mm. I reckon you've made it as a traveller. You know who the first person we heard about sleeper buses from? What? Who? Was our gran- my grandma, your mum. And she kind of made them sound a bit nice, didn't she? Yeah, she talked about Vietnam, though. They're completely different. Still, it's a sleeper bus, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she talked... That's how we kind of found out about them was taking sleeper buses. Mm. And I always used to make jokes with my friends before we went away about how I was going to sleep on a bus in India. Mm. And I never thought it was going to be that bad. But, I mean, it was that bad. But, um, yeah, that's the kind of the first person we heard it from was our grandma, which is weird. Yeah. You know, do you think? Because she's a bit of a hippie traveller, of course, isn't mm, she? Yep, she likes to stay in some really run-down yep. five-star hotels. She's up there with a long grey plait, always going around <laughs> India. <laughs> But anyway, before we start, Sunny, I would like to say that, yeah. yes, sleeper buses, obviously, you know, I've, I've, when I was a young girl, yeah. before you were on the horizon, I have d- actually taken a sleeper bus uh, all over Europe, haven't we, Brian? When we went to Munich and we slept on that sleeper bus. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Was... Uh, no, that's all right. We just needed a yes. And it was just, and we went on that bus and we slept overnight. So although you had never heard of a sleeper bus, Sunny, I mm. actually had. Okay. So, you know, that wasn't But that my was Europe, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. was that... Do you Never think it in was Asia, different? Though. Oh, yes. Oh, oh hello? Shush. <laughs> <laughs> so our sound man chirping in with some no, unwanted information. No, it was information. very, very different. And um, look, yeah, let's just get on and mm. tell the people who are out tell there. Tell the people what they want to hear. Yeah, tell the people what they want to hear. And also, like I just said to you then, well, how many people are actually... Because t- before we do a show, we're always like, well, how is this helping people? How... You know, what, apart from us being very entertaining, obviously. Mm. <laughs> How is this actually helping other travellers? Yeah. And like you pointed out, thousands of people take Indian travel bu- uh, overnight sleeper buses. Probably millions of people. Yeah, millions. Let's be real. There's billions of people in India. Yeah. And they're all going to listen to this and they're all going to say, thank God we listened to that because now yeah. we know Not what it's... Not to do it. <laughs> Well, we've obviously got very different opinions. We have, So yeah. let's get on to the comparing our stories. Be, yeah, it's going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting conversation because actually, Sunny, what we first need to tell the listeners mm-hmm. is, as someone pointed out to me on the um, blog, they left a comment. I wrote a post about this, which I'll put a link to in the show notes. And um, a guy commented and said, you know, 
look, you've had this bad experience. Oh, and just to let you know as well, this is, my writing is very tongue in cheek and I'm very, you know, I'm, I don't mean to be disrespectful to India or anything mm. like this. It was just, it was, you know, just meant to be a little bit of lighthearted humour. Banter. Banter. The bants. Mm, the bants. <laughs> just a bit of bants, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but we did take the lowest, cheapest, classy, yep. class of bus, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So what with, pardon? No, non and Kind of summed up our whole non trip then, didn't it, really? Yeah, it did. Really. Taking the cheapest, <laughs> less classy, un-air-conditioned yeah. option of everything. And I, re the reason... But you would have gone on an un-air-conditioned plane if there'd been an option. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we booked that bus mm. is because I wanted you young um, children to have a nice... <laughs> <laughs> to have a nice 16 years old yeah and you're 16 you were 16 and Tess was 13 and I just wanted you to have a <clears throat> a real experience mm. because anyone can go on so it air. wasn't anything to do with the money then well, well, <laughs> <laughs> well apart from the fact that it was a hell of a lot cheaper but no I wanted to be you know I didn't want to be with all the other tourists and like sitting there in my nice air-conditioned coach and enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, to be <laughs> pure hell. <laughs> There's only one way I can get back at you, and it was just like, nope, we're going on the non-air mm. <laughs> going on the non -air condition bus. It's all going to be something to write about. Yeah, exactly. So we took the bus from um, Mysore, or mm -hmm. Mysuru, to, um, they call it both, don't they? Yes, I and I can't remember. it's Mysore or Mysore. Yeah, we but took I it to Gokana. We took it to Gokana, that's right. And then from, where, where else? And then Gokana to Mumbai. Yeah. Mumbai. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 that was an early, that was an interesting early arrival. It was, wasn't it? Driving through so Mumbai. So which one do you want to talk about? Do you want well, to let's talk about them in chronological just, order. Yeah, well, just, just talk about both and then just like, yeah, mm -hmm. bring up the highlights and stuff about... So, yeah, did you love it then, Sonny? Yes, it was <laughs> awful. So, well, I think it's, it's, it's like, you know that feeling when you're going to Disneyland or somewhere exciting and you're thinking about it all day and it's your mm. stomach's all, you know, it was like the opposite for the <laughs> India sleeper bus. It was like, you know you're going on it and all day you're dreading it and you just do not want the night to come. I remember me and my sister Tessa sitting in the restaurant. We just didn't want to eat food because we were so nervous about it. And we were just sitting there looking at all, because we were in a nice restaurant, weren't we? The That's rooftop right, restaurant. Yeah. We look at everyone in their nice white, the tourists in their nice white shirts and nice clean pants, shorts and sunscreen and mosquito things. And and we just knew we were going to, because we just, we pulled our backpacks up and put it on top of the, next to the table, hadn't we? At the top of the mm. restaurant. And we knew we were just going to go be going down to the sleeper bus that night. Mm. And um, we turned up at the sleeper bus and... Um, it was just sitting there and there was no one on it at all, was there? And no. we were like, is this the right bus? And of course, you know, it was um, a load of nice big green air conditioned buses. <laughs> all and in then the there, line. And then was our sandwich in the middle of them, the little blue <laughs> thing with the um, nice chrome, you know, rails and stuff with the multicolored lights flashing. And oh, it, was just, <laughs> it was just horrible. And you, and you needed the bathroom as soon as you stepped on, even though you'd just been. It was like, well, I know there's no bathroom on it and I just need it already. And we kind of just, we just walked onto the bus and we walked right to the end because that's where our bunks were, right at the end, mm -hmm. the, the last four on the left, because it was doubles. And I was going to, I was like, I'll go with you and then Tessa could go with um, my dad. And um, yeah, it was just like, there was a molded cushion wasn't there? Moulded pillow. Well, first of all, let's just say what the bus, because to some, remember, some people have never ever seen an, a yeah. sleeper bus. So oh, you, yeah. you, you go up the steps to the bus, like mm -hmm. you're getting on a normal school bus and there's a little driver sitting in his little seat, isn't yeah. he? But he's high up. And then you, you turn right, like as if you're getting onto the bus. And this bus I'm talking about was obviously just designed for sleeping. Mm. Like Sunny said, it's like a corridor. And on either side of the corridor are two floors bunks yeah. bunk bunks two bunks two floors of bunks is that yeah. right yeah mm -hmm. with all curtains pulled across them so imagine standing in the middle of a railway uh, in the middle of a train mm -hmm. and it down either side exactly the same isn't it down either side there's bunks yeah with all curtains but you got on and there was no lights no but there were there was those um 
Oh yeah, those... they were lights, but they were all very dim, weren't they? And, yeah, because like, of the curtains as and, well. And like people were like peeping out of the curtains. Well, no, there was no one there when oh, we got. There? there was actually there was one man, wasn't there? Yeah, I think there was one man laying down yeah. in the bunk. Yeah. It's single bunks on the right. Single that's bunks right. On the single right. Bunks, bunks on the, on the right left. and double right, double bunks on the left. Mm. That's right. And um, don't they have like a woman's only? Um, yeah, they have like a woman's only section, I think, don't they? In the middle of the bus. Yeah, two, two, two singles. Yeah, I'm not sure. When I was mm. looking into it, there was all different options that you could have. I think you can even take a bus that's just women only. I'm yeah, not, I and can't... probably just men. Yeah. Mm. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. Oof. Imagine being on a bus with a load of you. Without a woman's touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without a woman there to brighten. Mm, There'd probably be no lights, no curtains. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. Um, so you, yeah, so. And then you opened back, they pulled back the little blue curtain. Peeled back the curtain. No, you pulled back the little blue curtain. Mm-hmm. Little it was clean. Damp. No, hang on. It was clean, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, because there was nothing there. Yeah. You can't, you can't just say, it's like looking I at don't a carpet want people and going, think, that carpet's clean. No, but I don't want people thinking you got onto this like grotty little dirty bus. It wasn't dirty, was it? So, and no, it wasn't. And then Not you, compared to, if you went and stuck it in the middle of New Plymouth, it would oh, look of dirty. Of course. Well, it wouldn't look dirty. It would look worn. Mm. It would look well worn. Well used. It? Yeah, well used. That's not dirty. So anyway, so we pull the curtain across, which is like a little flimsy sort of piece of mm. tissue paper, yeah. like blowing. And the thing that you noticed was how hot it was on there. Yeah. That was the first thing you noticed, mm. wasn't it? And it was like, oh. A bit warm. Yeah, this is a bit warm. Mm. And me and you went together. And like you say, Tess and Bri went together. Yeah. And so go on, yeah, there was a moulded... So yeah, you, you get it on and it's like um, you've got... Firstly, there was that little rack on the wall oh, yeah, where you put, put your, your bags. Um, but like not much... Because we had a flight, we always had our flight bags yeah. um, and our backpacks. And we put the backpacks on the floor in the middle of the back of the bus. Or did we put them in the boot? In the boot. We, had our, we had our flight bags and our That's right. top bags. You know? Yeah, we put our bags in the boot and we concerned the whole trip that someone yeah, was going to take we them were. out because they kept stuffing and opening the boot. Yeah, putting, that's the like, funny chickens thing. chickens and stuff in there and... Yeah, that was a funny thing. So a lot of people have said to me, oh, what about your bags? Is it safe? Never had anything stolen or pickpocketed in India, did we? Never. No. Not once. Um, and to be honest, not throughout, a, never in no, our whole trip. We, we were very, stolen. very lucky. I lost my jumper in Japan, but that was my fault. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, so remember to give those details as well. So before you get onto the bus, mm-hmm. you put your backpack and you might be thinking, oh, well, I'll just want to keep my backpack with you, with me. Honestly, don't bother because the beds mm. aren't big enough to have a big backpack in there as well, no. are they? I mean, I'm only five foot four, and it's like they wouldn't. I wouldn't have liked to have had my rucksack with me. My feet were me. flat against the the wall when I lay down. Yeah, it was only a six foot bed, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I'm you're only five a, foot two. I'm quite a tall lad, you know. You're about five foot two. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, no. You're so nearly six foot. you pull back the curtains, and there's the molded, um, molded. Pillow. So with us, yeah. we had our flight bags, mm-hmm. which in my flight bag was my computer and all my day things. So mm-hmm. let's just tell people that as well. So we always put our bags, our carrot. <clears throat> excuse me. We always put our rucksacks in the boot. No, no. We yeah, we put our yeah backpacks in the boot, yeah. and we kept our rucksacks yeah. with us. Our flight bags. Yeah, flight bags. Yeah. yeah, which we called our flight bags, didn't we? But mm. they were our bags, like I say, with all our tech stuff in it and the drone, you know, medical stuff. Yeah, medical stuff mm. and things sleep. like that. Wait, did we put sleep? No, we had sleeping bags in there. Well, that's what we did. We took the top bit off our backpack because our backpack had two parts, like the big bit, and then there was a little bit at the top where you put your sleeping bag and your inflatable yeah. pillow and your that's silk. Right lining thing that you had Mm -hmm, that's right so we were concerned see that was yeah i forgot about that Mm. why were we Well, every stop you'd stick your head out the window and go oh they're taking this stuff out the boot i know because what's he doing i know oh what if it falls out i know because i was bloody paranoid because you know what they stop and they're like and then they're like all jump out and all open the boot and Mm. throw all the bags out and like oh my oh my god where is my bag yeah have they left it on the side of the pavement? But of course they didn't. No, because you think, you know, they've done it a few times, haven't they? Of course they have. They know what they were doing, mm. but I didn't know what I was doing. So I was paranoid thinking, where's my lovely... Where's your lovely bag? Yeah, where's my lovely little bag going to be when I get to Mumbai? Mm. Yeah. But anyway... Anyway, we haven't even got onto the trip yet. So yeah, sorry, go on. Better get onto it. So, yeah, you pull back the curtains. Um, there's a little moulded pillow. So you're just eating a chocolate sorry. almond. So. All right. Okay. I was just getting excited. I was and getting chocolate into the almonds story. in India, and um, hang on, I'll just have a big crunch. 
Okay, he got well. a nice molded pillow to lay down on. Um, and we, what did we do? We laid our sleeping bags on top of the, you know, that material you get on the back of bus seats, you yeah. know, that Static. purple, purple with the little yellow lines mm-hmm. and that on all bus seats that you yeah. have ever. Yeah. Um, it was like that. And, um, pretty sure the walls were felt as well, weren't they? And, um, everything was just felty and stuff like that. And we just put our, um, our sleeping bags on the floor, uh, on, on, sorry, on the bed and, um. And then you pulled back the window and yeah, sat boiling, sat the other way around That's right. so that you could look, was it going backwards or forwards, something like that. You yeah. switched around so that you were going the right way. Um, I've got a video somewhere of it. And, um, and I've got a picture that I'll put in the show notes of me looking out of the window, yes. wistfully thinking, where the hell is my bag? <laughs> and why are the chickens in the boot in a cage? <laughs> but um, yeah, so we, the, the, eventually the bus did fill up, didn't it? Um, and you're just sitting there thinking, I need to go to the bathroom and it's really yeah, hot. why is that? Why is it when you're going on a trip mm. and you go to the loo? Like and you today, know that you can't go. I can't remember the last time I went to the loo, to be honest. Mm. I don't know when it was. Oh. But if you... Well, sure. I need to get that checked out then. <laughs> <laughs> Camel bladder. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. So you've made me go bright red now. <laughs> Fine, no one could say it. <laughs> and, um, no, but what I wanted to say is why, as soon as someone says we're going on a long bus and there's no toilets on this bus, you get on and that's it, dying to yeah, wait, aren't you? You? <laughs> you just have to go to the bathroom. Mm. And um, I remember thinking, can you wee out the window? <laughs> I was like, do you think you could do it? Would anybody see? That would be nice for me, yeah, we, no, we were at the back and you were down below us, weren't you? So we have just sprayed into that bunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, no. So um, you're going along and the first thing you notice is it's a bit bumpy. Everything's shaking a bit, you just know. Just a bit, yeah. Going around every bend. But it wasn't that bad because you're still in the city. It was when you got out into the country that the bends got quite bad. Yeah. I remember being woken up, well, woken up, brought out of a light daisy snooze. Um because we were in a corner and I flew... Oh, yeah, there was bars down the side. That's right. Um, so bunk. that you didn't fall out. Yeah. But they're only like a few inches high. And I remember rolling over and slamming into it and nearly falling out the top of the bed because this guy had gone around the corner so fast. That would have been hilarious, wouldn't it? Oh, I was just... That would have been you lying... <laughs> <laughs> lying in the middle of the bus. Dying for a week. Holding yourself... <laughs> You're going off track. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Sorry. Go on, go on, go on. Go so, on. you notice how bumpy it is? <laughs> and every corner you go around, um, you, you're flying off. Um, and it's, it's really hot. You need the bathroom. And, um, that guy had a bucket with him, though, didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, you've got to the bit that I was going to tell. But, oh, okay. can I just say, though? Mm. Oh, God, I'm in a hot flush here. But can I just say that everyone is really quiet on the bus. Don't be thinking that you're going to get on this bus and it's going to be mm. Did rowdy. Did play music? No, there was no music. No. If you go on... Do you know what? I found that to be the case on all engine buses and trains, that when you went on, it wasn't, like, noisy, was it? No. There wasn't... I don't know. I, before I went on an engine transport, I would have imagined that everyone would have been, like... Because they talk quite loudly to each other, don't they? And, like, you know, like, mm. talking that tone that sounds as if they're shouting <clears throat> and arguing, like we said last week. Um, but the, it was very, very quiet mm. and calm. Um, the only person that was making it stressy was the driver's helper. Do you remember him? Yeah, yeah. He, he was used like, to shout. Yeah. He was like a little sergeant major. Because mm. people, it was weird, because he was calling stops off, and people had only just gotten on. Remember yeah. that? Like, they're in their first hour, and he was like, okay, this is your stop. So maybe it wasn't just an overnight bus. Maybe it was like a bus just for a few hours. Now, my friend from India, the one that left the comment on the blog, mm. um, he told me that if you travel on a bus, um, and a sleeper bus in India that hasn't got toilets... They will do, depending on the length of your trip, they have to stop every few hours uh, every few hours to okay. let people off for the for the bathroom. Yeah. But if you're a man, so, so you could have done this. If you're a man, I know you're only a boy, but you could have just like stood on your tiptoes or something. If you're a man, you could go up to the driver. Mm. Yeah. And you can 
request yeah. a, for the driver to stop and let you out off and have a little wee at the side of the road. <laughs> they won't do it for ladies, obviously, because they no. wouldn't do that. That's not going to be safe. Mm. But, yeah, that's what he said. He said, if you were desperate, then the driver They'd would pull off. over. There's no way they'd do it here, would it? There's no way you'd find that in Europe. You can no. just say to the driver, excuse me, I need a wee, can you pull over? Mm. They wouldn't do that, would they? Oh, they might. So that's very considerate. I mean, you don't even do that when we're going on long drives. Oh, God. Oh, we're in 40 minutes to Mocal. Only yeah. 40 minutes to the next bathroom. There's no way I'm pulling over. There's mm. a big lorry behind me. There's a big truck us. behind me. I'm going to be stuck behind that again. Because <laughs> it's from London <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> no way I'm going to be stuck no, down there. No, we're not going to be pulling over, are we? <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, the, the, the bathroom situation was a little bit hairy, wasn't it? Non-existent. Yeah. And the stops that we did pull over at mm, one, were... One stop. One stop, wasn't it? At midnight. One yeah. stop. That on the first that... bus drive, it was one stop. Yeah. We had, a, we had an early stop about 11. When there was a little That's stop. right, we did. We had two, Sonny. Yeah. And that was weird because you were just falling over to sleep. Mm. Like, we'd been on there six hours, hadn't yeah. we? And you were just falling over. And then it was... The bus stopped. Mm. And like I say, this little sergeant major man who was working for the driver... Yeah. He was like... Do you remember? He was like coming down, pulling all the curtains open, yeah. going, man, going yeah. and, you know, off, 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 sort of thing, like go to the toilet. And which would be fine if you really needed the loo. That was mm. great because you'd been woken up. But I just remember sort of like waking up in a bit of a daze and thinking, what is going on? Are we there? Yeah. Or are we at our destination? But that aside, oh yeah, and the man with the bucket. The man so, with the bucket. Mm. Mm. Did he ever use the bucket? Did anyone ever see him use the bucket? Well, he wouldn't have come out in the in yeah. the public, would he? Mm. I'm just using the bucket. So no, he, he took it. We saw him carrying his bucket into the little compartment with him. Yeah. And then when he came out, it had something in it, and he mm. went and emptied it at the side of the road. Oh, okay. Which I suppose, if you had like a really weak bladder or something, yeah. what else could you do? You know, you just this, mm. you'd have to do that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Yeah, mm. it? because where did he store it? Sloshing about. If I'm falling out of the bed, imagine what that's well, no, doing. It's not going to be around. It's not going to be. It's not going to be sloshing around, is it? Because it was like quite a deep bucket and you only mm. have like about that much. Mm, okay. Yeah. So that was that. Yeah. And so that was the bathroom situation. It's one stop. Yeah. Um, in the middle of the night. Oh, two stops. Two stops in the middle of the night. Um, but other than that, it's either, you know, you hold it or go and ask the man. Yeah. If you're a man, if you can go, go, get, yeah. get off. The downside to going on a non-air conditioned sleeper bus mm. is you have to have the window open otherwise you're just going to suffocate with the yeah. heat aren't you and when you do open the window it smells oh no i don't think it smells. Yeah, i remember waking up at three o'clock in the morning to the smell of like vomit yeah when we were coming into mumbai there was that really bad but i think that was just i think someone, i think someone threw up in yeah the bus. i think someone had actually been sick but there was no way because it smelled so much like of do <laughs> you know what? When we turned up in Mumbai, I'll never forget that. Mm. We turned up in Mumbai and I was thinking, because I was like really nervous about going to Mumbai because yeah. I've heard like, you know, all the stories and like that's really where all the, you know, the Which mess and everything. was lots yeah, of slums. I know there was, yeah, there mm. was lots and lots. But so there's me and I looked out the window and the sun was just coming up and it yeah. was really, and we, I remember we were just pulling into the city and there was all this noise and I saw these people. Oh no, that was it. We were sitting in a traffic mm. jam. And I saw these three people and they were going across, uh, just along the street, just picking up rubbish mm. and putting it into this big wheelbarrow. Did you see that? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. And so like putting it, and I thought, oh, there you go. See, it's not true mm. what everyone says. Yeah. And I just watched them for about five minutes. They're picking all the water bottles up. They're picking all the crisp packets up, putting it into this wheelbarrow. Mm. And then yeah. <laughs> they just wheeled it to the bridge uh -huh. and just tipped it into the river. And I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe mm. that. So, honestly, it was just like, I don't believe that. Yeah. You don't believe suppose, that actually happens. No, I suppose it, it's off the streets and then There was a lot of someone like else's that problem. in Asia, wasn't it? It was like, if you've got mess, just move it. Like, you know, they were there dusting leaves off the side of the road, but they just move into a pile on the other side of the road. It's still there. It's yeah. just in a different place. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a bit like us, though, isn't it? Mm. Like, Maybe moving everything around. Yeah. And you know, you sort of like, it. you take dirty washing out of your room because you don't want to look at it anymore and then mm. just go and stick it in the bath. No, well, I don't do that. No, it <laughs> does. It does. <laughs> yeah. So anything else on them? Um... Sleeper buses. Um... Other than the noise of the horns beeping and beeping oh, and beeping. Hang on, I'm getting a dirty look. What are you saying? Um, Time's up? 25 minutes. Tonight. Okay. God, that's gone really quick. Well, let's sum it up then. So, um, uncomfortable. 
Um, no, I wouldn't say uncomfortable, actually. Did you sleep? What, what Bri? Did you sleep? I remember you... Oh, my I, God. Hang on, let's just, loud. let's just quote this. <laughs> I've got a quote here. It was at four o'clock in the morning on the bus, and I said to you, Are you have you slept? And you just went, this is hell. This is what I said. Mm. This is hell. Yeah, this is hell. Yeah, Obviously I, I, really tired. I must admit, I don't really like not sleeping. No. I, don't, I don't cope well without any sleep. You're not going to sleep, are you? Really? No, not like you, not like the Indian men, because you heard, heard their snoring. You're not going to sleep like that, maybe unless you do it once a week for a year, rest yeah, of your life. Yeah, if you were used to it, then you. It's like anything, isn't it? You just get used to the situation mm. around you. But look, I still think that you, sh- everyone should do it. It was you. We lived to tell the tale. It was fine. It was an experience. Mm-hmm. We felt safe. That's the main thing is people like, oh, I don't want to go on a sleeper bus because I wouldn't feel safe. There were a couple of girls traveling on that bus that were on their own, weren't there? Um, Felt safe. No one came and talked, you know, no one bothered us. No. Um, Like I say, hot, very hot. Yeah. Um, And when you, yeah, when you open the windows, you can just hear, "Ah, ah, ah, Mm. ah," just constant. Very bumpy. Very bumpy. Yeah. But if it's bumpy, do you know what someone told me? You go to the middle, middle. of the bus. Well, you always book it in the, we had to book at the back because we were late. But when you're over a speed hump, me and Tess used to take off. Yeah, yeah. Mm. When you go over a speed hump, you take off. But that was good for your back. But anyway, Sonny, at least now you could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 At least now you can say you've been not just once. But twice. twice on an Indian sleeper mm. bus, and it can't have been that bad. Otherwise, I wouldn't have booked it again. It's like having a baby, isn't it? When you have time. a baby and you're like, "Oh, I'm never no, going through that again." No, you booked them at the same time, though, didn't you? No, I didn't book it at the same time. Did I, Bri? No, no we booked well, we it tra- afterwards. We had a train booked. Yeah, um, it was closed. We couldn't get all the way we wanted to go. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, so it wasn't that bad. No. So, if you are thinking of going on an Indian sleeper bus, we've done it, and it was brilliant, wasn't it, Sunny? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, like, let me just tell you, mm. let me just ask you, if you went travelling now with your girlfriend, mm. I know you haven't... Well, that's a surprise, you didn't add in the old boyfriend. Okay, oh yeah, and your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Mm. Would you go... No, it is. Actually, I don't think they would let you on an Indian sleeper bus if you had a boyfriend. In fact, I don't think they let couples on an Indian sleeper bus, do, do they? Yes. They do. Oh, do they? All right. So anyway, if I was yeah. going around with so my girlfriend, say if you were going traveling, like just a couple of years from now, and you know you're Positions there. Positions open, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny's open to offers, mm. girls. If you were there a couple of years from now, you know you've grown into a big boy, and you've decided that you want to leave home and go traveling around Asia with your girlfriend and her wooden bangles and her bikini top. And a little white. Come on, just get on with it. Okay, that. would you go on an Indian sleeper bus? Yeah, probably just to do it. Bearing again. in mind, I'd be there too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bring grandma too while we're at it. That'd go down really well in India because they mm. like traveling with people traveling with families. No, would you go on an Indian sleeper yeah, bus? Yeah, so we're just to do it again. There you go then. So just it to do it bad. again. Just yeah. to prove to myself that it was as bad as I remembered it was. <laughs> All right then. So yeah, we've decided that going on an Indian sleeper bus is a bloody good experience, I reckon. It's an experience? Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for <laughs> listening. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave us a five star review on iTunes. And if you don't, you're a terrible person. Sunny. <laughs> well, what are we talking about next week? I don't know, because next week is um, Christmas, isn't it? So mm. don't know. Why don't you uh, leave us a comment and uh, ask us what you want us to talk about? Mm, Yes, send us some ideas. Yeah, I just think talking about travel... Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Maybe the... um uh, yeah, that's all right. I'm not going to talk about I'm not going to say that, but it was in my head. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. All right. All right then. So thank you very much for listening. Take us thank out, you. Sunny. Well, thanks so much for listening, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us this week on the podcast. We have loved having you here. If you guys could subscribe to us on iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. That would be absolutely amazing. And make sure to share the podcast with your friends. And if you'd like to hop over to the blog, find one of the little boxes that ask you to drop your email. I will send you a newsletter every week letting you know when we've released our new podcast. That will go straight into your (laughs) inbox. So it's www.com. 
itsadrama.com. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you next week for another podcast. Look forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.